Hey guys, I'm back here today with another review. Uh, today it's going to be the Logitech K112. No, K120. That's what it is right there. Upper right hand corner. So I just got back with this puppy. Um, my other keyboard, as you can see right here, uh, it's, it's, it's seen its days. I jammed a knife into it. So now the JK. No, now the H and the Y key don't work. So it's a very attractive keyboard. So I went to Walmart and bought this for uh, $14.95. That's including tax, so it's a, a great price. Got a knife now to open it up with. So let's get into this unboxing now. There's a bit of glare on the box because it's uh, shiny and all, everything like that. So has some very... Uh, Detailed uh, instructions on how to type right here. I'm gonna be looking at those, reading those really carefully. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. You'll be comfortable. You'll be comfortable with this keyboard. Oh, okay. I wanted it to be loud, like everyone else in the Skype call that I ever ever Skype with. Okay. Make sure this is legit on camera. You see these safety tags right here. Oh, that's a crisp sound. Okay. So now, uh, I think that's it. So now we have, um, actually unbox it. Ooh, this is shiny. This is nice. I think my school has nicer keyboards than these. But hey, it's a gaming keyboard. What do you expect? And obviously, never go with a wireless because that's it's not good. Don't worry about that. Response time and everything like that, that's not good. <clears throat> And then I gotta go through this. Uh, important safety, compliance, and warranty information. Gotta read all the fine text. I'm gonna throw this box in my closet now. Alright. Uh, crisp little packaging right here. I did a nice job on this. So far, 10 out of 10. Uh, it's like a Chinese symbol on it right there. Anyone know what that means? Just put in the comments. I have no idea. Uh, I keep losing focus, my bad. Alright, so uh, compared to my other keyboard, um, it's not missing any keys yet. I have not hit it with my fist or hit my head into it. So it's uh, it's pretty, it's working so far pretty well. I just want to be annoying, like everyone else on my Skype call. If you guys know Tyrex, or Deprived, yeah, they have mechanical keyboards, and especially Gaudi. That kid, oh my god. I type with three fingers, I can type with this, like, these two, and this one. I don't even know. So yeah, I'm really emoji at typing, like 78 words per minute. I'm just kidding, I'm really bad, like 20. So, um... Okay, ripping piece headphone users. That was a USB on metal. So, um, it is a USB, it's not, um, this old-fashioned, uh... Oh, I don't know what that port's called. It's like the purple port that you plug your old keyboard into. I'll just get it right now and show you. Oh, rip. Okay. That was a bit of a malfunction right there. Wasn't meant to happen. Okay. So this is a quality keyboard right here. My old one. Uh, I'm missing keys right here. And I don't know if you guys can see it. Right here. I'm going to focus on that. Uh, there's a knife mark, actually, in between the keys. So it's uh, very, very nice. Now, I was just going to point out that this is the old style port that you're using right here. And it has a little keyboard logo on it right there. If, if I can ever focus. Yeah, see? And then the new keyboard has a. Uh, let's see, let's see. It's like USB 3.0, probably. Just a regular silver connection, so, yeah, it's going to be good, I'm just going to go and, uh, hopefully just won't show up in my videos too much, like, uh, the noise, because, uh, I'm not sure, seems nice, though, um, has the legs that you flip up on the back, because, uh, I like elevation on my keyboard, so, I bet these are just keyboards that my school uses, honestly, so, so, side-by-side -side comparison, um, old versus the new right here. 
and it's uh, it's looking pretty good, honestly. And I, I like the keyboard layouts that I have on this one. I mean, there's probably about a, a gallon of grease in there from eating tacos and not wiping my fingers off. So, uh, it's, it's going to be good. I'll let you guys know how this uh, keyboard works out in my next Origin video, which should be up pretty soon. Um, I, have no, I don't know when it's going to be up, but uh, just, uh, stay tuned for that. So, uh, now this keyboard is going to go in my closet in case uh, this one breaks or something. In some unfortunate event. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you did, uh, let me know what keyboard I should actually buy next. Because I needed a keyboard, and that would work, and I didn't want to go buy like a... Um, a Razer keyboard, because I'm too cheap for that. So, um, uh, 10 out of 10 so far. It's a nice keyboard. Functions, obviously. So, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.